Right, um, so it's been a moment uh, since we last uploaded a trade breakdown. And without wasting any time, let's get into today's trade breakdown. And this time around, we're focusing on what Eurocad loans that were present when on Tuesday, the 20th of February. Uh, and without wasting any further time, right, we're trying to keep this behind, below rather, 10 minutes. So before getting into the chat, you want to use what the economic calendar as your roadmap. And as you can see, what do we have on Tuesday? Tuesday, we have CAD news in the form of CPI at 8.30. And we have also had, what, we also had uh, AUD at 7.30. So I'm only interested in what, 8.30 release. Why? Because this is within the kill zone. I'm trading the New York kill zone. So this is within the New York kill zone. And this outside the kill zone. So we need to have time aligning well uh, with it, with, with our kill zones in order, in order for us to have high probability setups. And without wasting any time, so there's the weekly time frame of the Eurocat. We have a low to that high and price is what has been trading away from the premium of the range trade all the way to this discount BC. And then you can see how price forms what? It forms a, fa a swing law, right? It forms a swing law at a key discount array, right? At a key discount array. This is taught by SET uh, on his core content. When we have a swing law forming at a key discount array or at a key area, then you would expect the fourth candle to do an expand higher to a potential or a higher draw on liquidity. And right here we can see this is our draw on liquidity. We have that in the, the premium of the range. We're coming from discount to premium. We also have this fractal in range. I'll get into it from that high to that low. That will be the premium of that fractal dealing range. And like I said, we expect the fourth candle to do what expand higher. So we can see how we open on this new week, trade lower. So that's great. And eventually we do what we trade into this premium CB right here. Whether you're using this dealing range, parent dealing range, or this fractal dealing range, still the same thing. You still get to see price gravitating towards the premium of this ranges, right? Further, uh, let's look at this from uh, a daily perspective. We, we expect what? An open at the of the weekly candle and then form a low of the week and then trade higher towards the CB or the draw on liquidity, right? As we already said, we drew to this weekly CB and then close somewhere after that. So there is Monday's candle. As you can see, we open trade into what? This order block. This order block is confirmed when we close above it on this candle on Friday. So we dip into it by forming what we are opening and forming a law inside this order block. So our law is from this order block. We are trading into a discount array. So the fourth, this, so this the next candle, right? Using the next day model, uh, the next candle is expected to do what? Expand higher to uh, buy side liquidity pools and eventually our draw on liquidity right there. So Tuesday, since we have news release, we expect it to at least accelerate towards this buy side liquidity pool and maybe eventually do that buy side liquidity pool. And without taking much time on the daily, what do we see? We see our price on the hourly doing what? There's a midnight opening price and then at 4 a.m. right there, at 4 a.m. London session, we manipulate lower into what into this order block. This order block is confirmed once we close above it right here on this 2 a.m. candle. We come back into it once, then twice, and expand away from it, right? So this expansion phase forms what lives behind a fair value gap right there, and this fair value gap will be most likely to be used what as a retracement, short-term discount array to propel price higher during what New York session. I hope you understood that part. Now let's look at the 15 minute. Okay, before the 15 minutes time frame, we have what? We also have SMT divergence. You can see how Eurocad is forming the law of the day on London. And then we see a higher law at New York. But a correlated market to it, GBP CAD forms what? A law at London and then a lower law at New York. So you can see that we're on the right side of the market since we're trading what? Eurocad. Now, proceeding to the 15 minutes time frame, we can see how price did that manipulation rally into what into this one hour order block and expanded higher so we have our change in the state of delivery on london right there as we close above there's two consecutive down close candles that we're digging into that one hour uh order block we expand higher come back into that one hour bc and we see another expansion but there's 
not the ideal time frame for entries so what we had instead would be what from the hourly you'd want to go to the fifth five minutes rather for uh your entries so right here new york kill zone we see what so new york kill zone is my new york kill zone right it's from 7 to 11 a.m others can use 8 30 to 12 it's very much subject to the trade right uh so right here you can see how we dip into what how we dip into our one hour bc and the interesting part is we're trading all the way to the law of that one hour bc so i'm filling it fully right and then we expand higher now let's take a closer look to at this price action so we're trading into this one hour bc law expand higher from what a failure swing right here so there's what a low risk buy from the swing law push higher come back into ote of that range that's a low risk buy so after this low risk buy i'll be looking for short term discount arrays to propel price higher and i'm i'll be looking for buys from those areas so we confirm this three down close candles as our order block right there we come back into it that is your buying opportunity where's your low your low since we have in high impact news coming at 8 30 and there's way before 8 30 right there's somewhere around eight you want to do what you want to place your stop at an area where you you feel or actually trust for price not to go there anymore and we have seen how price filled this one hour bc and there's no reason for price to come back all the way to this bc low to this low again right so I'll be putting my entry right there as we come back into this order block right there. Entry, stop loss right here. I could be using the swing law on another day, but we have CPI on CAD, right? So it might just be too volatile and weak around and potentially mingle with this law, but not the swing law right here because we do not have to retest this. We already rebalanced the one hour BC so we can propel higher, right? And these are the instances where you would see what these are the instances where you would expect to see news not manipulating, right? Usually there's a misconception of news manipulating or news being used for manipulation all the time. But when you see, as I was saying, there's usually a misconception of news or news release being used for manipulation all the time. But in actual, in, in actual fact, there's a way to differentiate when news would be used for manipulation and when news would be used to expand or for expansion to the draw on liquidity. And in this case, they, the, the simplest way of differentiating these two scenarios is to observe if weather prices traded into a short term discount array. Have we traded into a key area before news or are we trading into a key area as news release is nearing, right? As you can see, we are rebalancing, fully rebalancing this one hour BC way before news release, right? So there's no use for price, like I said, to come back to this law to rebalance. There's no imbalance left here. As you can see, there are no favorite gaps right there. Fully rebalance this five minutes, fully rebalance that one hour. So the expectation would be for what price to do what come back into this area only for what to expand during news release at 830. And as you can see, trade into that order block, we form another order block, we come back into it. I wouldn't be trusting to buy this one because you're not sure if you go, you're going to get filled on this one. So I'm content with buying on this one. And what would you be having? Your entry right there on this order block, stop loss at this swing law. I'm not putting it here. This can cause so much volatility and we get a week mingling with this law and I'll be stopped out. But anyway, as you can see, why am I targeting that swing high? That is a one to three risk to reward ratio, right? So one, one is to three is a huge mile. Uh, if you're trading with a firm, a firm account, I'm not referring to a prop firm per se. I'm referring to a, an account with uh, a healthy equity. So another target would be what that weekly draw on liquidity, which is our CB law right there. So with that being said, this would be what you would have been having. We see Monday trading into that daily order block right there. Tuesday does what expands due to that CPI release and overshoots that what it overshoots that uh, weekly CB. But then the last target would have been what the CB law, as we said. So I hope you learned something from this and that will be that.